Before getting into today's episode, we'd like to thank Mac Performance PT for sponsoring the Walk On Pod. For more on their services and contact information, click the link in our Instagram bio where you will be led to their website. Mac Performance PT, helping Sacramento athletes live life without limits. Thank you for tuning back into the Walk On Pod. Um, you know, personally, I believe we've had a lot of uh, good episodes with good guests back to back to back here. But, you know, it's us three bi-weekly episodes. Um, Jared, hustle to get here. I appreciate you. Tommy, it's late for you. I appreciate you. But we're here, fellas. Uh, how are we doing? Oh, it's been a long day, but, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're here. This is the best part of the day. Great, man. It's Friday. I earned my weekend. There we and go. That's why I'm inside with you guys here ready to put out great content because I care. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to the scouting report. Um, I actually have a I have a, a scouting report first, a scouting report first for us this week. Um really? I had to kick someone out of tryouts. I had to kick someone out of tryouts this week. Um American History X. Let's just talk about it for a second. I got about an hour through the movie before I couldn't stomach it anymore and I turned it off. I I couldn't I couldn't finish watching it. Um, it was That's disgusting. So it was, it, bro, it was it's it, it was it was disgusting. Like the fact that one that that's real. Like that's what was going on. Two, there's probably people that resonate with that today. And three, like just the act after act after act, like of pure disgust. Like I literally was sick to my stomach, so I just couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't watch it anymore, and I turned it off. Um, I'm sure there's some resolution at the end and anything so um, wow i i get that but it was just you can't tell me like it was it was too difficult i just couldn't do it so i can't, I say, I, I'm, I can't yeah. say i expected this yeah i didn't expect this and uh i i definitely don't agree eh, bro it right. was i mean you're sitting there watch ads of hate for an hour straight and i'm just like waiting i mean but that's i but that's the point i mean i that yeah, i mean yeah. just, i i just couldn't stomach it well anymore. then i'm glad hey i'm really glad you didn't finish the movie yeah i'm sure it was i'm sure it was rough i'm really glad you didn't finish it but yeah because I mean, you would have been highly with, upset yeah so i mean we go from a, an alcoholic drinking his life away as a oh, so that's to, what that's to, what this is this is carry I'm just saying, that, like carry bro over. i just bro, i can't watch a feel-good movie can't watch remember the titans like you know what i'm saying like come on i mean we we had to like we t- okay this is this is interesting i wasn't expecting this i didn't um, expect to not finish the movie. i, I think i kicked out i think uh uh, uh you can't tell I, me that it, that's it's an easy watch or anything I think, but see, but I think I get uh, to me. We're, we're you we're finished ten, the thirteenth warrior. That's different, bro. It wasn't real to me. Like, yeah. So that's so that okay. So there you go. That's we're ten yeah. years. We're ten years apart, age wise. Uh, and I guess to me, I I look at it like um, it's like a pretty real depiction of like how America is viewed and how America like the things that happen in america like that stuff really happens like all that's the time what I'm saying. but i think that's like the point of the movie though is to shed light on that i don't think it's to like highlight those things but like like stuff like that happened when i was in high school and I'm, like, that's what and i think that's what makes it made it so yeah. difficult so, so maybe that's just, yeah maybe that's and i respect you for not wanting to go through that but like oh, i'm never gonna suggest this tommy i hope you never says this but Marley and Me is way more difficult to watch than that. Don't even that's actually the it's, worst. That's actually that's the, the worst that's movie the ever made. Movie I've yeah. ever okay, seen. Okay, but, but it's life. it's that's different though. Like it's different, difficult. Like they, I don't think it's in the same. Like, I don't even think category. I could finish Marley and Me. I'm not kidding. Yeah. I I agree. I agree that that's a, a hard one to watch too. But I think it's hard for different reasons. You okay. Yeah. I, mean? I I get yeah. I get what you're saying. I'm not diminishing what you're saying. I'm just my point is the reason I think it's a good movie is because I think it's a realistic depiction of what it's like in a place like LA or a place that's like a melting pot like that. And if you finish the movie and you see like what happens, there is resolution at the end of the movie. It's not like exactly what you want it to be, but um, I guess I just like the fact that it's not like Hollywood storybook ending. Like I, you know, those kind of movies are tougher for me to like stomach, I guess. 
Yeah. I want is... something more like honest and real. You know what I mean? I think it um I mean it definitely was honest and real and stuff, but it was just like I it was aggressive. Get... No, I it was aggressive. Even, you, you can't even get to the fact like you're saying, like uh, it's a it's a good movie in your eyes because of the way it's depicted and everything. I couldn't even see to that point because of yeah. what was going on. You know what I mean? And it's it's yeah. just extremely graphic, it, it, extremely in your face. Like, yeah. no matter what, well, every that's scene all is a different yeah. slap in the face, and it's like, this is real, and yeah. I'm not going to sit here and watch it. So that's what happened. Yeah. Take them out. Okay. You're in time. You're yeah. entitled to do that. You are the head coach. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, we're yeah, I'm not, I'm not, like here. I said, I'm not diminishing. I'm just surprised. It was the first yeah. for everything, man. That's what I said. You know, I think, you know, in as as a coach, I gotta, I gotta set the precedent that like I'm not gonna get walked over. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, there you go. Okay, that's a good way to put it. We hold a standard <laughs> I'm not, around here. I'm not gonna kid just beat down with yeah, <laughs> hate I mean, crimes. Like, what are we doing? So yeah, let's turn the page, coach. man. Let's, let's give me. Uh, wait, can I? Wait, can I? Can I ask you one? Emo. Can, can I yeah, give yeah, you? So. Can I ask you one question? You could just say uh, yes or no. The point that you turned it off was that in the shower? Was that the shower scene? No, I don't even think I got to a shower scene. Oh goodness gracious! Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. It was bad. Yeah, you, I'm glad you didn't finish the movie. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, bro. I'm just sitting. Like I actually was sick. Like I yeah. had, I had no desire, and it was an hour and twenty minutes left, and I was like, it's to this point, I'm gonna throw up. So yeah. what am I gonna? Okay, <laughs> fair. All right. Um. Well, hopefully, Tommy. I don't know if your picks to pick this, but uh, maybe you make a pivot right here. I hope it's. I hope it's. Monsters there's a lot University. of there's a lot of good Pixar movies to choose from that. Uh, seen. I'm gonna stick with my guns here. Honestly, definitely feel like Luke's seen my my main movie I have here, but I love this movie. Um, I've got eight below for Luke this week. That's Cuba Gooding Jr. Eight below. Paul Walker the, eight below with the dogs. Isn't yeah. eight below with the dogs? Yeah, I've seen that. What's the one with? Cuba That's the blue of the dogs. Yeah, you seen it? Yeah. What did you just say? That's. Are we saying the same movie? I don't or know. You wrong? said you would. I said I, Cuba I, Gooding Jr. Isn't that his name? That's in it. Is that his name? I don't know. Well, I think I might be mistaken here. I've got Paul Walker. Paul Walker is Paul what, Walker. Which one am I thinking of? Hold on. Yeah, there is a Snow Dog movie with Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah, that's the one I thought was. It's called Snow seen Dogs. Bo- yeah, Snow Swear. Dogs. Oh, you're thinking of Snow Dogs. I think I've seen Eight Below though. Have you seen Eight Below? I want to say I have. Like a long okay. time ago. Um, All right, I, I got. I, mean, I got. I got a good backup for him if if. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I had another. It seems. But... It sounds too like. Too up it your alley. Too familiar. No, it sounds too familiar that I wouldn't have seen it. If that makes sense. Uh, it's pretty. Popular. Oh, I've seen this. It's a Disney one. Yeah. No, no, no. I've seen this one. I've seen this one. Yeah, it's pretty right. sad. I'm not gonna lie. No, it is. Jesus it's Christ. A... <laughs> you guys are crazy. Uh, Tom, what? What do you? What's your backup, bro? Uh. No, let's give this to Luke. Luke, Luke, Luke. Kalen might have had Luke watch this. I watched this movie with Stacy. This might be a safe haven kind of play for me. I'm not gonna lie. So maybe I don't want to give it to Luke. So no, it's, it's fine. I'm not mad at romances as long as it's good. Yeah, it's it's a. Let's see if I can get my genre right here. This is a romantic mystery. Okay. I'd say. Have you seen Where the Crawdads Sing? No, I've never even heard. It came of it. out a few years ago. Yeah, I haven't even seen that. Where the Crawdads Sing? It sounds. Yeah, I actually, I I didn't think I would like it at all. I watched it with Stacy. Stacy fell asleep, and I locked in for the rest of the movie. Like. I didn't think I was going to like it. romance. I didn't nice. think I was going to like it. It's on I Netflix. Up, I ended up thinking it was a pretty interesting movie. Yeah. I so. mean, look, I'll watch it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. Got 35% on Rotten Tomatoes. So um, it's always a good sign. Uh, yeah, we'll roll with so it. Sounds like it is in the scene. safe haven uh, realm. Look, I, I, I'm going to give it the benefit. But, of I, will, but I will watch it, though. I will watch it's it. It's nothing special. I'll, I'll say that. We got to get, I mean, look, at least the one thing I do know about romance is it's going to be a happy ending, so. Not always true. I was going to give you romance. I wasn't. Oh, my God, bro. What's up with you guys on all the Debbie Downers, bro? Like, it's no, it's not, like about, a... it's not about Debbie Downers. It's about real life. 
It's yeah, okay. Honestly, these honestly, real life I found movies it, suck. Yeah, I found this movie. Pretty <laughs> Sorry, amazing. your life isn't Holly. Real life isn't Hollywood. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, but, but that's what I'm, that's the point of watching movies. Do you know that Disney has the most depressing movies? Yeah. No, every Disney most. movie, a parent dies. <laughs> but they make them for my, kids. <laughs> you're good. I was saying I found this movie pretty interesting because it's like a murder mystery tied Ooh, in romance flair. With yeah. the, it's it's in it's just weird. It's based off a book, and I guess yeah, the book is I really saw good. The novel. So that's typically the, most that's mov- typically most movies are made. Yeah, adapted from books now. Yeah, it. I don't know. I mean, I I walked I walked away from it like okay, that was actually that was all right. Actually, I'll watch it too, Tom. I trust it. Uh, I trust yeah, it. I haven't seen it, so I'll watch it. I trust it. Good job. Good job. I'm with it. I'm with it. All right. So man, this is a huge day. I feel like. I feel like this is a good set to talk about first. Let's let's uh let's get some Coach Prime talk going. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, man. Yeah. I think I think talk in terms of sports media, is he, he's is he not the most. Yeah, the he's football goat. This is the pinnacle. I yeah, I haven't I haven't seen people gravitate to someone like like I don't have any. I don't watch any college football. I don't watch one game. I don't pay attention. I don't know any of that. But I will. I always click on his clips and I always read his Twitter. Cause he's just engaging, man. He under like he just he gets understands. It. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. He's entertaining. He just he gets, gets the it. Bridge. He, he gets it, bro. Bridge. He really is prime time. He well, is so the- he is so cool. Yeah, no, he, I just love well, that guy. So I will say, I'm sure. Um, I have a pretty strong feeling that what we see is is definitely not the full story, and I, I'm I'm like a, I'm a thousand percent sure of that. But you think I he's think like controlling the he's controlling the narrative. 100%. He he yeah. controls what gets put out, what what he does when cameras are on him and but one they're winning. They're they're winning games that definitely people before the season didn't think they were going to be winning and they're winning in a manner that no one thought they were going to be doing. So clearly it goes to show that they've got good coaches over there and he's the head of the snake. So you got to give tip your cap in that yeah. sense. I I also I yeah, I just like the the anti-hero like I'm going to turn turn it on its head, turn the whole football culture on its head yeah well thing. and i was gonna say like i don't think there's a more confident group of college football players right now than the, the right. colorado buffalo like and I feel- like he's he's just what what he stands for is just resonating so well with his yeah. players and i think that's another testament to the type of coach he is yeah and i think like the other cool thing about that and this is just like a general statement it's like isn't that like that's all most players want from a coach anyways right it's just like you know like how come like it's different in basketball than football i'm sure but i i don't understand like the football aspect was like bro just go out there and hoop like just go out there and play like you're you're good like you're here for a reason like bro you that's why they play well because you're just loose and confident and your coach is confident and like you have this like rock solid person behind you like driving you and you're like yeah "Yeah, i'm nice like even if you weren't nice be like coach prime says i'm nice i'm nice (laughs) yeah that's that's quite the validation (laughs) Like that's all I need, bro. Just bought me some sunglasses. Like, I'm I'm that's Coach so Prime funny. Jr. <laughs> and I think the narratives just, are hilarious. I think he just instills so much confidence in yeah, his players. Yeah, it's crazy. And like we all know, every uh, any athlete knows, when you're playing with confidence, like you're not gonna get stopped. Like you don't. At least you don't feel like anyone could stop you. So I mean, no, these guys yeah. are walking into every week thinking they're going to run through the. Uh, opposition and they've done a great job two weeks in like obviously they got to keep going but yeah i think that'll be the interesting thing to see what happens when they do lose because they're not going to go undefeated no nah, i mean they've got a heat they've got a, a their schedule is couple nuts. weeks coming up yeah, here after yeah. so that's like i wonder like i'm sure he'll like double down but like the players wise like are they going to lose some like are they going to stay confident as confident they are now you know yeah, that's a good yeah. question. Yeah, that USC no. game, that USC ooh, game would be really good. Ooh, ooh, that's yeah, gonna be a battle. I think. Uh, I also think the other thing too. It's like, it's interesting how, um, how like, it's like a specific like it's like a specific attack from the other people like every week. Like it's almost like that part's calculated too, where it's like, like what what happened with the Colorado State this week? Like, bro, why would you even say anything like that? Like, yeah. no one talked to him about that, and. I went and read another article. Like he was praising him like 20 minutes after that yeah, <laughs> in the really same good. interview. It's like, it's like, it's like scripted. I don't know. It just feels weird. Well, it's like, like, well, again, in terms of controlling the narrative, 
what you went and you had to go read about these other articles to see yeah. that coach actually said, what is being pushed? <laughs> yeah. The one line about him wearing sunglasses. Like it's, it, that's the only thing that people are being told and that, that prime's probably telling his players. So it's like, yeah, he's no. yeah, I don't, it's smart. It's smart. You know what? Uh, you know, it's, I actually heard it again uh, the other day when I was listening the, I think the greatest or the craziest uh, narrative uh, control of that is like the whole Allen Iverson practice clip. Yeah. Cause that's like, cause that's not what like people, exactly. it has nothing to do with that. Like, yeah, his, his friend had just like passed and we were talking died about and they were, Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But he just said over and over again, like one of his best friends has just got killed and like, yeah, they didn't talk about that part of the, of the no, whole thing. Exactly. No, no, it's, it's crazy how that works. It's very nuts, but it's cool because like I don't care about college football whatsoever, but like it's making me tune into what he's doing. So like obviously it's an ingenious plan because I yeah. would care the least amount of college football. Yeah, bro. He just, I mean, there better be a lot of college game days in Boulder. Yeah. It's there this week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's, yeah. it's definitely dope. It's must watch TV. That's yeah. That's for sure. I'm ex- um, I'm happy. I'm happy because I it's always cool to see former players that like make that transition well. Yeah. You know, like to be that good of a player and to be that good, like be that self aware to be good at coaching too. Cause like most guys can't do that. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So it's definitely a good point. Um boom, switching gears again. Talking about must watch TV. Um apparently the Paris Olympics USA team might be must watch TV here uh coming up. Based on these these recent reports, do are, are we bought talk into about this? narratives? We're talking about LeBron <laughs> assembling the Avengers. Like, the what Avengers. do we got? <laughs> do we believe it? Do we believe it that it's LeBron or that they're gonna play? That they're gonna build the team. Oh, I think they'll play. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I think they'll definitely. Because I, I think they definitely have the intentions to play. Someone said yeah. James Harden is definitely gonna play because there is passion week. On his <laughs> That's back to his bag. Uh, I think was, I, the tough thing, uh, someone said it. I don't remember. It was someone that's like on, on TV a lot. They were like talking about how like pretty much no one from this team is would make is going to make the Olympics team except for like maybe Anthony Edwards. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. But the also, um, bro, they just need to get like they need Bam to play. That's really because like their biggest problems are going to be inside. Yeah, they need like, Bam. Yeah, Kevin Durant is like amazing, but like he's not trying to bang with Jokic. I saw someone say they I, I saw someone say that they, they should bring Kevon Looney and I was crying at that. Yeah. No, I don't even know if that would help them. I that mean, I don't me, know. It just had me laughing so hard. I was like, if Kevon Looney got the USA invite, that would be so awesome. Yeah. They I think um I mean I, I don't see why I mean it's a big commitment, but I don't know. I feel like they have to play. Cause like, like Jokic is gonna play, Giannis is gonna play, Luca's gonna play. Like, all the best yeah. players from the other countries are gonna play. I think it will really depend on if if who wins the title. Yeah. Like if LeBron goes point. out, if LeBron goes out early, he'll he'll play the Olympics. You know what I mean? But like, I feel like if he makes the deep, like make it to the finals, game six, game seven, like I don't know if he plays. It's hard to what, say. If that's a, what if that's a going out party? That could be. You're right. Be I mean, because it's a uh, what it's gets next the championship year? and then <laughs> and then goes and wins the gold and then retires. That'd be yeah. kind of nuts, actually. I yeah, because that, that would be you heard it here first. That would be it's next summer or is it one more summer it's out? 2024, right? Yeah, okay, I summer. remember. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I remember they were like, yeah, okay, got it. Yeah, I don't know. Their team looks good, man. They look – I mean, the Lakers look good. So, from on paper. Yeah. I they got the better. Dwight Howard. Oh, it's, oh, Jesus. Think about that pick and roll set, huh? Chris Paul and Dwight Howard on the Warriors. Who would have thought? Just uh, – You're just tired. Let Kings. it go. I'm not saying anything. Um, yeah, we don't have to talk too much NBA basketball here. Um, but, yeah, no, um, I, think, I, I think – I do have one other thing I wanted to mention, though. How funny it is is that, like – how much kind of he he was getting over the last two seasons or so with Dennis Schroeder, and then he wins MVP of the FIBA and like was actually cooking. They like he caught a bunch of heat for the really bad game he had, but in the semis and then in the finals he was killing. Kind of willed him to victory. Nice. Yeah, yeah, he was killing. Yeah, like he's 
Yeah, he's nice. He's good. But I feel like I feel like a lot of international players do that in these these international competitions. You remember Bogdan like a few years back? Yes. He was going crazy. He was killing that. this year. He was killing yeah. this year. He yeah. was averaging like 19, 20 this year. But yeah. like same Patty thing. Mills like kills every year. Yeah. It's like these guys that like you think of just like some average role players, like it's like, oh, this is why they get paid multi million yeah. dollar contracts. Like the Hernan the Hernan Gomez brothers barely even play in the NBA and they're nice for Spain. Uh, what's his name was killing too? Nikola Jovic. He was killing yeah. too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the guy that in the league though. Like yeah. he, he just barely played last year. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I think it will be interesting. Either way, it should be exciting. Making an exciting summer to where like it, it forces the it forces the the USA to like bring their best team so that the games will be competitive. Like you know. Yeah. Well, and I think it it, it works together. Like you're saying, all the the other international big names, like once the USA guys start committing or once they start committing, like the other side's going to have to yeah, respond in some way. But yeah, I think, totally. I think it'll be exciting, especially yeah. the list of like the potential names that they're throwing out there. Yeah. No, There'll be a Netflix be a cool documentary about it. Nod. Huh? Do I think D Fox gets D-Fox the nod? D-Fox get the nod. I mean, he should. Uh, I mean, I would take him over Chris Paul. <laughs> well, who else? Jaw. Chris Paul wasn't even. No, Jaw's not. No, no. Yeah, Chris Paul said he wants to play, but like you got to think point guard wise. You already have Steph, Steph and you're uh, not going to carry much point guards. I saw. Yeah, Kyrie, Kyrie wants. Dame. No, and Dame wants to play, but it's Chris Paul said he wanted to play too. So you have Chris mm-hmm. Paul, De'Aaron Fox, Dame, uh, Steph. I just don't think they're bringing. Who's Chris defending Paul at the point guard play. position? Oh, no one. That's why they need Fox. Yeah. I think I think that's the only argument. I mean, I think that well, the smart play. This is and this last thing I'll say because this is I was uh, listening to uh, PTI talk about this. Like, if and if they win next summer and they take all the big names, like who's going to be the next up? Because this team didn't get it done. So it's like I feel like they have to sprinkle in the Fox and Anthony Edwards to the team to like have them be the like have the experience to be the next group up. You know. Yeah. Cause like LeBron and Steph aren't gonna play in twenty eight. Oh. So it's like no, KD's not, not gonna play not in twenty eight. Played in the Olympics. Oh. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. He never he's he's always been hurt. He's never played in the Olympics. Hmm. I remember he had the, the USA under armors before his He played in the were tough. He played in the World Cup with like James yeah. and Clay and Kyrie. I remember that too. Yeah. But he like I'm trying to think. 2016, he had the sprain MCL when they lost the finals, and then 2020 it was COVID, and he broke his hand. 2012, he wasn't who he was yet. Yeah. I guess you're yeah, right. Yeah. So yeah, I think I mean Anthony Edwards definitely deserves a nod. I think. Um, and De'Aaron, I feel like if you bring De'Aaron and D Book along, I think those would be like three good ones. And then Bam, I think Bam should be on the team. So it's it's a lot of he, names. He was on it. He was on it last time, right? Who? Bam. Bam. Yeah, I know, but there was like they're trying to convince him to play for Nigeria, but uh, you know. okay. Who were the bigs last time? Wasn't JaVale McGee on the squad? He was on the squad, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. They just need to get Anthony Davis to play. <laughs> Anthony Davis. JaVale McGee's it. awesome. <clears throat> Talk about a journey. He's got man. like three rings and a gold medal. He's just yeah. he's just out there. And and he was the he was the face of Shaq in a fool for like six years. Mm-hmm. He's Good. awesome. Uh yes, yeah, good for him, man. I feel like I feel like that's someone that would have like a dope story to tell. Yeah, he's big. Yeah, he's in the purple and purple and black now. He is. Shout out to shout out to the Kings, man. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, can we give a big shout out to Fordo? Oh, huge shout out to Ford, man. Huge Thanks shout out Ford. to Jordan Ford, man. We love huge you, dude. Shout out, man. Can't no, now, congratulations, brother. Now it's gonna be really hard for us to get you on the pod. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, we man, I might not even be able to. Yeah. Hey, uh, we're proud of you, man. Good job, Shine. Way to be shine. Go back and yeah, check out the shine episode. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, we, the blueprint. We already was know what it is with those guys. This doesn't come as a shock to us. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Shine. Shout out Fordo. Much, much shout deserved. out Q. Shout out Ant. Yeah. Whole squad. Crazy. Really crazy. Yeah. Um, Definitely dope to see. Definitely dope to see. Um, All right. Anything, anything more basketball related here before we get into another hot topic of ours? Uh no, I just know I'm one and zero in fantasy as of right now. So yeah, I mean, uh, Tommy, you got. I mean, I know you probably don't have much to say. Yeah, I mean, I you know, <laughs> looking forward to next week. 
Yeah, I think next I think week, like this upcoming week. Yeah, yeah. like like when like, this episode drops, like Sunday when this yeah. episode's out. Yeah, I had a rough night last night though. Well, I didn't. today's today's Friday, so for the I the Thursday game didn't help me, hurt me big time. But I got, yeah. I got QB one on my bench right now, so. You know, if anyone listening to this in our league wants Kirk Cousins, you know, let me know. Mm. Let mm. me know. Um, no, Tommy got Tommy got hit with what um what I like to call a fluke. I think um the Bengals. Who knows what was? Going I had on the win there. in the bag, and Joe Burrow put up three points. Yeah. Wait. No, yeah. Think... Did you did you stack Burrow and Chase? No. Do you have German... Oh no, Chase. No, you got... I got McCaffrey. Hmm. My whole team Bradley. did well. Joe and Burrow put up a stinker. Joe Burrow put up three cut. points, and then somehow my, I went with T. Higgins going for a zero. My opposition, Cameron Sheldon, had Aaron Jones and Austin Eckler combined for sixty points, and that was Yo, that. It's kind of a running back battle between you two. Yeah, but yeah. now Eckler's not playing though. Yeah, well, Eckler played against me, off. and I'm zero and one because of it. Uh, it's all right. It's early in the season, man. It's early, man. It's early. Um, like I said, I'm looking yeah. forward. I'm looking yeah, forward my prime game. time, my prime time players did what they're supposed to do. Now I just need some uh some big games out of my uh, PT peers to pick up the uh, lack of production from yesterday. You want to talk about prime time players? We got to mention the man. We got to mention the man <laughs> that won me the che- week. Cheetah. Sorry, Kill man. Shout out, shout out to you for falling to seven in our league because wow, what a what a what a production he he put up. He definitely he definitely did a lot for my team. Yeah, and, that uh, was the actually morale, insane. The squad. That was insane. You were gonna lose. <laughs> I wasn't gonna lose. I would say because my my opposition. You know, we'll leave him unnamed. I don't want to, you know I don't want to throw any shade out there. But uh, he didn't he didn't put up a good week. Um, he has a good team. He didn't put up a good week. So, but yeah. Um. We got Sierra College native Brandon and I. You getting the nod this week, so hopefully again, like Tommy's saying, by the time this episode drops, uh, he'll be in the end zone again, just like he was last weekend. That'd be yeah, that'd be spectacular. Yeah, yeah. I got some work to do, but uh, I like my team. I trusted my draft process, and uh, now you know, just gotta coach him up. I will say that I know we were quiet us three specifically um, on the pod, Jared. Uh, yeah, probably no. asked me more about fantasy football than anything in the past month. Um, yeah. But in terms of the pod, we were really quiet about our draft strategies. And I'll say I think all three of us executed very well because I know yeah. Tommy and I in our brief conversations, because we both weren't really letting every secret go. Uh, but in our brief conversations, I feel like all three of us kind of did exactly what we were trying to do. And I feel like that's yeah. that's something. I to, like my you know, team a lot, man. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm saying yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I changed, I switched strategies this year from what I've been doing the last three years that got me some, some championships. But, uh, felt like with the league, I have to, you know, I have to change with the, with the times, you know, yeah, can't, okay. can't stay stuck in my ways. So, I mean, uh, I'm happy with where it landed. And now the guys just have to, you know, stay yeah. consistent. That's yeah. all we need, man. That's all we need. We just need a bounce back week from the guys, you know, one and one. It's not, it's not two and oh, but. It's better but you're the I'll, I'll tell you though, I'm pretty sure. I can't say I guarantee it. I'm pretty sure Trevor Lawrence in the sixth round is 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 going to be the league winner though for me. I mean, six round good man. Sunshine might be the MVP this year. Yeah, I don't know. I got yeah. Calvin Ridley pretty late. Yeah, that's a great he's, pick too. He didn't right off. I was I was I was going to take him right after too. That's yeah. a, that's Calvin the sad Ridley, part about that. Calvin Ridley might be my guy. Not that I need wide receivers though, but. Sorry. No, you don't need them. Who? Um. Yeah. No, I'm excited. It's it's you know it's beginning to be the best time of the year. I think I always I talked about it last year around this time. I love fall. Everything starts to come into place. Um. Uh, you know you can start wearing layers and hoodies. Shout out to Ki Unlimited. Um. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just a lot of good things start happening. Um. But you know, with that being said, we're gonna leave a lot of time for our starting five because we're not talking about good things this week. We're not talking about good <laughs> yeah, things actually, this week. Hey, with the movie, with your movie pick, this is all lined up really. This well. feels great. This feels great. So we've been talking, us three as a group, have been talking about how we can weave kind of a negative starting five into it. Like, how would we do first five cut or whatever it is, you know, for our lineups? But this week we're gonna go with starting five overrated literally can be anything that we think is overrated people uh music movies food <laughs> people, places I didn't know people I don't, were there. <laughs> oh people are in there people are in there you can put anything you can put anything in this list um and i think it plays as long as you have a viable explanation um i will not be throwing flags but i think it'll be fun i think it'll be fun well uh, again this is our platform fellas we've we've adopted that so you know we have a chance to get something off our chest if we if we feel 
need be. Um, now, I will say because of our our day later in our recording, we do have some stats from the votes right now. Um, do we want to go off of that? Yeah, why not? I, I don't. I didn't vote. Uh, well, I um, mean, it's it, it's only been up for four hours, but oh, okay. Tommy is holding an early lead. You and I are tied. Ike is in last. So, um, yeah. Tommy, I, mean, I didn't you... expect people to know many of my brands. So, I shouldn't be winning. It's early. It's early. There's not many votes in. Uh, yeah. I put it up at a, probably a, a rough time on a Friday, but that's okay. Um, no, I'm no, learning. No, I this, I'm learning this not. process. If I win, I don't know. The the Tommy Ball narrative, maybe I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, maybe this know. one, maybe this one. No, maybe, maybe it's close. For this one. Yeah, maybe You're only up by one, one vote. So, no. you know, it's not, there's not too many in, but with that being said, you are winning at the moment. So do you want to choose the draft order right now? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, are we serpentining? Yeah, I think I like this one's a serpentine type one. All right. Yeah. We can just go the way I'm looking at it on zoom right now. We'll go myself, Luke, Jared. I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, man. I might won. You know, we got to keep it, we got to keep it the same format. I still need a facilitator. I need a brains to the operation. I need a, I need a Rajon Rondo, if you will. But, you know, that doesn't mean this guy's good. You know, I personally, I'm personally not a fan of what this guy is. I don't know. I just think that it's caught a lot of hype and I'm just, I'm tired of seeing him everywhere. You know, just give me, give me a real car. Get your Teslas off the freaking street, dude. Like, I don't care this about your crazy. Tesla. You don't care Whoa. about the environment. Okay. I don't, I, <laughs> Teslas are you so American muscle. painfully overrated, dude. Like, wow. I am not a Tesla guy. Have That's you crazy. driven one? Yeah, I've yeah. driven one, and they're cool, but I don't like the, the brake when I put my foot off the gas. It bothers me. This is crazy. I'm like, not going to lie, Tommy. I can't agree with this take. At all. <laughs> I think Teslas are so overrated. I don't like them at all. Give me a freaking Honda Accord any day of the week. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be great sound bites on this, man. I can't oh, wait. Man. And, and maybe, maybe Honda that's Accord. because I don't have deep pockets like Waters. Maybe it is, but I don't want to. Why Waters? Why you? Why you put? Why? Why you? Because you put, you put Burberry in your, yeah, your you put clothing. Burberry, dude. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me talk right now. I don't want to sit and charge my car every freaking. <laughs> 40 minutes because yes. i can't make big road trips like give me some luke said it give me some freaking american muscle Dude. on the road it's All so right. funny tesla this overrated is... wow this, this is a uh, crazy take this is a no. wicked take that's a it's a bad take i don't know what I'm, kind I'm of tesla i don't know what, i don't know what kind of tesla you drive but you do not have to charge it every 40 minutes I love that was it, an exaggeration i don't know like i love it you're allowed to say whatever you want yeah, to say we, man. hey um, you know what i'm glad you have your own opinion I'm excited oh, to put my point guard out there. This is so great because I disagree with that thorough lead, but I'm glad you did that. I'm really glad you did that. Um, at my one, um, I actually have someone that's been selected in a previous draft, um, a rather recent one. Um, I'm talking about the condiment section. I'm talking about ketchup. Now, if we look at ketchup here at my point guard, I think ketchup is that's is awful. A, look, look, I think ketchup is, is listen, listen. I think ketchup is a condiment that one is stuck in its ways, two has no heart, and three brings nothing <laughs> to the table. Like that's if so I cool. want <laughs> and I know people are gonna hate this take because ketchup is probably the most popular condiment, but if I want a tomato flavor. I'm just going to put tomatoes on whatever I'm eating, all right? I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory, okay? You're, you're not putting ketchup on a burger. Tom, I hate ketchup. I hate ketchup. That's crazy, dude. Um, I, I, I was a mustard kid growing up, which I know is an awful take. I get it. But I think ketchup is stuck in its ways. What has ketchup done to improve its game over all these years? Absolutely nothing. Consistency. <laughs> Consistently it sits in the, the fridge best condiment. And only gets touched on the 4th of July. That's not a good play, man. July. So uh, I got ketchup. I know that was your point guard, so I had to put it at my point yeah, That's crazy. <laughs> I got, hey, I got ketchup gonna... on my point guard. Hey, speaking <laughs> of ketchup, man. Hey, oh, uh, I will say, though. Um, you're dead I wanted to say this before that, this. Man. I'm not winning this week. I know all my takes are not going to resonate with people. Nah, I don't know. They might resonate. I don't know that, re- that, that resonated with me. We might not get any. Uh, yeah, that's not a good sign when it comes yeah. to it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so, I I had a feeling I was going to put this person in my list. But I had to go experience it again just to make sure I was spot on. So, last night I uh, entered this establishment. 
<laughs> and when I walked out and I sat down, I ate my food. And I really just came to the conclusion that this place is just basic, man. And it doesn't really offer anything. Like, like my point guard needs to like have some dog in him and talk about not switching up. Like, in and out, man. Like, oh, you're going to have wow. to do something different. Because, <laughs> like, that's the most overrated fast food I've seen. I don't know about you guys, but, like, come on, man. Like, actually, like, like animal now, style, but... more like boring style. Look at this. <laughs> James turned his camera off. We got James Ball with no camera tonight, man. Yeah. Um. Wow. You know, I thought he was going to go a different route. Um. <laughs> But that's that's definitely not going to resonate with the people, man. I don't. <laughs> oh wow, um, yeah, man. Go ahead. Uh, it's still you. Oh man. yeah, it's me. That's yeah. gotta be the worst thing I've ever heard on this podcast. <laughs> Hands down, Jared oh, said is... some crazy shit. That <laughs> that that's the worst thing I've ever heard. This this is this is a great story. You are it's already off. To... California, born and raised, like. <laughs> How? Oh my! Yeah, but I've seen the world, man. I've seen what else is out there, and In and Out's not it. I have gotten In and Out with you, and you thoroughly enjoy In and Out. No, I, In and Out is a necessity, not an enjoyment. Interesting. It's that's it's a necessity, sense, but, but it's overrated. Make that it make is. sense. Uh, because if the only thing that's open past twelve thirty at night is In and Out, and I have to eat, I'm not gonna go hungry. I'm going to eat. Amen. I need nourishment, but it's not like my body was happy about it. It I looks like we're over for me right now, fellas, because we all just had horrible takes. That was so funny. <laughs> oh, okay, shooting guard, man. I'm excited for this position. Oh, yeah, you. this one. Let me get my piece off on this one. Hold on. I need a sip. But you didn't just get your piece off? <laughs> He's... Now, this place is the bane of my existence. Anytime I say a windmill on a cup, I want to kick someone because I still don't understand the draw of Dutch bros. Okay. Yeah. But people love Dutch bros for what? It's literally just sugar in a cup. Yeah. Sugar in a cup. It doesn't even look like coffee. And the fact that they dress themselves up as if it's an actual coffee spot or coffee connoisseur is just sickening. And when I ask people what they like about it, they give me some crazy name of some drink that has like maybe one ounce of coffee, 17 ounces of sugar and caramel and whatever else they put in that God forsaken nonsense. Trigger but warning, trigger warning. Dutch bros. Terrible place. Terrible place. Trigger they warning. They should be revoked. Warning. So that's my shooting guard. Dear, do you like Dutch this? bros. Because every time they shoot, they hit the side of the backboard. I just want to say shout out to my guy Joe for dropping the Dutch Bros gift card <laughs> in class the other day. $5. I'm going to mail this to Jared. Enjoy. We might lose some sponsorship opportunities here, fellas, tonight. <laughs> um, all right. This one, and I know this this one's going to get misconstrued big time. Um, I will go on the record and say that this isn't the first time I've I've made this take. Um, and I'm pretty sure people have shared this take with me. But the reason why I know it's not going to go over well is because the reason why I have it in the overrated column. Um, I'm going in the music category here. And I'm going with someone who I don't think is bad. I don't want this uh, to be taken that I think Uh-oh. is bad. But their fan base thinks that this... Artist don't make me mad right now. Jesus dude. on water. I have J. Don't Cole as my right shooting now, guard. Dude. I have J. Cole as my shooting guard. Um look, I, gonna I make me mad. You guys are I, legitimately gonna make me angry. No, look, <laughs> look, let me talk about J. Cole for a second. J. Cole, I'm not sitting here and saying he makes bad music. But what's going on to the left in my Zoom screen right now? With Tommy saying it's gonna make him mad that I'm saying J. Cole is overrated is exactly why I think he's overrated. But that's not okay. J. Cole fans think that he's the greatest That's not J. to do Cole, anything. Though. But it makes me think he's – but that's his rating, right? What, what's a rating? It's what the people think of him. His people think he is risen. They think he is the GOAT, and he is not. not the GOAT. He's not the I'm GOAT. I'm just saying. Bro, J. Cole fans would will probably – like attack. I'll get DMs about this one. I know I will. I know I will. I got Jay Cole at the shooting guard, and he can actually shoot. So my team might actually get a couple buckets. <laughs> Your team sucks. 
um, yeah, I would. But, I hey. think honestly, if we were doing an appropriately rated list, Luke's team would be in first right now. No man, ketchup is overrated, and J Cole is You're horrible. You're actually horrible. Like I'm, he I'm mad. He I'm all coming, the things that Tommy does. <laughs> that Tommy I'm coming loves. with a lot of anger on my pick. Get oh, these, geez. get these things out of my face. All right, these are the most oh. overrated things on the planet. I hate flip flops. All right, oh, no. flip flops <laughs> are so freaking overrated. Slides, <laughs> slides. Oh, this are, is awesome. Slides are quite literally the like such a better option in every aspect. I mean, I can wear socks with slides and not look like a freak. You can't oh, wear flip flops. Flop. You mean like thongs handles? Thongs. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay. like Sorry, I, I don't yeah. put my big toe and my second <laughs> toe in between the yeah the thong if that's what we're gonna call it. That's what they're called, man. Um, they suck, dude. Flip flops suck. Like, give me slides any day of the week. Okay. I can wear them to the beach. Like, I don't have to wear like what like what what good am I getting out of flip flops? And honestly, I think people look crazy when they wear flip flops around. I'm not a flip flops guy, dude. I think you know. Guy. I'm not mad at the take. <laughs> I, I think they're so it. overrated. <laughs> Like it's rainbows, so I don't know. Are rainbows still big, dude? Like, get them out of my face. Nah, Ufo. I, you're I mean, only wear money. Ufo, so you're wasting. We're to money. Ike. Yeah. All right, at the three, this might not be that crazy. Maybe it is. I don't know. I've got the mall. I, uh, you, the mall. I no, this is a good one. Like I was. I don't. Like, I was thinking about this. Nice pick. This is nice. I don't, I don't about like this the mall at all. I think it's gross. Like, I just like. Just like I don't know, and maybe this goes back to me not having deep pockets. Because maybe if I did have deep pockets, I might be at the mall a lot. Maybe I might thoroughly enjoy the mall. I don't know, but like the mall just doesn't have a lot to offer to me, honestly. Just besides a bunch of BS overpriced stores and the kiosks in the middle of the mall. But you know what it does have is the, the pretzel shops. So, you know, maybe maybe I'll stop at the pretzel shops. That's Tommy. Tommy, you can appreciate this. I got into my cupboard uh, in our pantry the other day. You know what I found? I found some Dots pretzels. Man, Dude, so that's go. that's a I brand even, that we won't be losing I, a sponsorship. I, I, I have no idea how they got there, and I have I no think, idea who picked them up. Tommy. I probably I might have put them there, Jared. <laughs> but like, you, oh my god! I was like, wait! Elf. I look no, I looked at it. I was like, wait, hold on! This is what Tommy's always talking about. I've never even seen these in real life. I didn't maybe, open them. Maybe, I had no interest in eating them, but. Man, you, should, you should interest yourself in those. But yeah, no, I've got them all. We can move on. But I think that's a good I think that that's I love you that know, play. That's that's better than the Tesla one. Yeah. Um small forward again. I think I think there's gonna be some people that don't agree with this take at all. I feel um, like you just had these lined up to just no, be no because because a lot of these are things that I've preached before and now I have a platform to do so. Can you say Kanye um, West, please? No, just see no, what no, Jared's no, face no. does. Jared, I don't no. care about what I'm done, people think. I'm, I know I'm about done Kanye. with the music category. J. Cole got my blessing. Um we just here we to hear mine. Small, small forward. Um, this is something that I I understand the draw, but me personally, with it's just it's it's not it. It's not it. Um, I got going to football games in person. I think football is a couch sport. Um, wow, if, I like that. I think I think football is uh, a couch yeah. sport for multiple reasons. I think the tailgate. That's one thing. The tailgate is one thing, but if you're going to tell me I have to go to a 10 o'clock game in Santa Clara and one, I'm going to miss all the other 10 o'clock games Two, I'm probably not even going to be able to watch the football game very well. And three, I'm going to be uncomfortable, surrounded by a bunch of angry, drunk people. I'm not going to enjoy my time. I'm not going to enjoy my time. I'd rather be kicked up on a Sunday morning, watching all my teams on red zone, watching my fantasy team and, and just enjoying time with the family. I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to be at some, some football game. You forgot, you forgot the worst part, which is the three hours it takes to get out of the stadium when the game's over. And and this is specific to football because I've been to, I've been to basketball games. I think you can, your, your culture to the game, you feel more involved hockey games, some of the most fun venues to be at. It's exhilarating. The fans are hilarious. Again, you're close enough to feel involved. Baseball games, not a baseball fan, but there's a draw to being at a baseball game. Like there's a yeah. draw to being at a Especially baseball game. Especially in the game. summertime and like yeah, yeah that no, I can I think see that. It's, and it's you know, a good pick, This is a good yeah. football is a couch sport. Football is a couch sport. Well, plus Going to football like, games is overrated. And the like not to take your thunder here, but like there's very few seats in a football stadium where you can see everything happening. I'm probably gonna miss ninety yeah. percent of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and you don't get a replay. Like, that's the best part about football is, like, you don't have to watch it live because there's 
50 seconds between plays and they're going to replay it for That's a good take. six times. Uh, so I no, honestly, I really like that take. I suggested, I suggested to, uh, to Draco and the guys, I was like, I threw it out there. I was like, maybe, maybe we try to go to the Colorado Utah game when Colorado plays Utah. And he goes, dude, I'd rather just watch it at home. And I was like, honestly, that's fair. Like, the college sport, man. And that's the probably, thing, college, NFL. Like, I just rather be snack up wise, with the guy, like, yeah, bro. snack wise. If I got I'm my spread out here, seventeen dollars for a beer, like, well, I can I got, I got wings. You know, I got the veggie platter. Shout out to the veggie platter. My walk on pick at the Super Bowl party. You know what I'm saying? I got everything oh I need God. at the crib. This guy's got receipts out here. He's got his ketchup, his burgers. No, we definitely don't have ketchup. <laughs> uh, Jake right, playing in the background. Right, I'm, I'm gonna really, <laughs> I'm gonna really try to keep this short and sweet. Um, <laughs> Because this is one that's been burning for a while, and I never get a chance to talk about this. So in my small forward, you know, this player, he showed a lot of promise. This is like, essentially, this is Anthony Bennett. Oh, jeez. Because it showed a lot of promise. Like, hey, man, number one overall pick. He could really be, you know, the next LeBron maybe. And for a while, it, like, looked like, hey, this might work out. But then when things came down to it, like, he just was – it was an empty player. It was, like, no no production. So, for my small forward, give me Sports Center. The show Sports Center. Because Sports Center used to be wholesome. And it used – like, okay. I used to wait for the top ten. The top mm-hmm. ten was, like, yeah. you had Stuart Scott, Scott When it had Van the ticker Pelt. on the side. Oh when it had the ticker God. on the side. So, so today's like, Sports Center. Today's, today's Sports Center. Yeah, I'm talking about current times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because Anthony yeah. Bennett at UNLV looked like a number one overall pick. And then Anthony Bennett, uh, two years into the league, looked like. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the he timelines the don't. Yeah, exactly. So, like Stuart no. Scott, Sports Center. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. That's what I'm saying yeah. is like they could have kept it going, but now it's literally just clickbait. It's yeah, just I mean, clickbait. Is Sports on Center TV. even really a show anymore? Oh, yeah, it's like, no. It, it's on. Bro, it's, it's on all the time. It's on Repeat. all the time. And yeah. it's like, bro, I don't need to watch. Like, it's just it's sad because it was such a good idea, and if you ever see the documentary that talked the thirty for thirty that talks about how Sports Center started, it's like they came so far, and now it's just like it's just like a nothing would like, quite hit like that panel on the left side on the side, side man. Oh, man, yeah, man, the yeah. panel, yeah, the pan, yeah. It's just that's a, it used that's to a good be one. so good, but like good ah, it just fell off, man. I'm sad. I would say our small uh, forwards here, fellas. Um, some good picks got some, here. Got some heavyweight yeah. fighters here. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Those, Those were three picks, there. picks that resonated in my book. So yeah. good job. Agreed. Good job there. Now <laughs> I'm gonna catch major. I'm gonna catch major heat. For yeah, this, I'm, that's I'm okay. just gonna come out. I'm catching flack for my four. I think. Yeah, I, think I got my most yeah. controversials out the way. There's there's some real horsepower here at the power forward. Some real horsepower, but I don't know what it is. But I feel like this person is. It's just a byproduct of maybe the culture, maybe, you know, being with the right people, being in the right situation, timing, whatever. But my power forward, I got to go with Beyonce. Beyonce is most overrated. This is, this is not going to resonate at all. Oh, this is dude, a horrible take. <laughs> it's like your worst I mean, because, oh. like, if I think about it, like, dude, from, that's like, bad. like well, music-wise, like, I just – I just don't see it, man. I just don't uh, see it. There's a lot. Right. There's a lot more talented Can't people. Agree with that, now, yeah. Beyonce now, okay. Just I'll pose vocals. the question. I will pose the question. If she wasn't married to Jay Z, would she be as relevant? Yes. yes. Okay. I don't think so. It's Beyonce. I don't think so. Okay. All right, man. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna let that one. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what people think of that one. Yeah, no, that that's gonna get some DMs as well. Um, okay, <clears throat> my four, my four is someone that's up and coming on the scene recently. Um, me, quite frankly, I think it's disgusting. I think it's disgusting. Um, there were two people that fit this slot, and I chose the one that I felt stronger about. Um, there's 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 something about this thing that for some reason, a lot of people have now bought into whatever fad it promotes. Um, and, and I'm saying that as a hater, cause I'm sure there are health benefits to this, but I'm a hater. Give me the sauna at the power forward. I think a sauna is disgusting. I think you're sitting in a sweat box with other people that I don't want to be next to. <laughs> and I don't think it smells good to be honest too. You got a bunch of people in here that just finished working out and they're sitting in this literal sweat box in, in doing what sweaty and smelling bad. Um, the backup for this was a hot tub because that's essentially the same thing. Yeah, if but you said a hot um, tub, I was gonna fight you. 
bro, the, I'm an ice bath guy. I'm an ice bath guy through and through again. I'm sure the same argument could be made for ice bath that it's a fad. There's not really health benefits. I get it. Oh, I like um, ice bathing, but like, bro, a sauna is disgusting. Are it's you just like hot tubbing with randoms? I'm confused. At the gym, you have to get in the hot tub with a random. You, you I don't get in the hot tub at the gym. Yeah, bro. Like, are you talking about gym hot tubs? Are you talking about? about I, well, first off, it's disgusting. I don't want to sit in a wait. Box so, wait. So let's hold on. Saunas. You're talking about saunas, yeah. not hot tubs. Yeah, I know. Hot tubs was my backup. Saunas. Oh, okay. Saunas. Saunas yeah, no. are like Sauna. whatever. I really have any bad experience. Are, bro, saunas, you can't. Bro. But am I wrong? Are people not? So like, the weirdest the thing sauna? about saunas is how comfortable feel people feel being naked. Bro, what are we doing? There's no yeah, dudes will just do. like go in That's there, and, like, yeah, just throw the eagle. towel off. Yeah, Why are you like spread eagle in a in a in a in a sweat room, you know, little, little sweat good. box. I have a problem with the backup though, like a jacuzzi, a hot tub, like that. Bro, those are hot soup? tubs are like <laughs> you gonna go sit in a hot bowl of yeah, water, bro, like man, like it's that. a vibe. It's an absolute vibe. So okay, bro. Give me a sauna at the power four. Um, yeah, I yeah, I can see what you're saying about the sauna. I think the nasty, biggest bro. your biggest problem is that your sauna experience is at lifetime. No, no, I don't go to a sauna. I can go. Oh. I think sauna by myself is gross too. What what do I oh. what am I gaining from sitting there and feeling sweaty? No one wants to. Be uh, it helps like put some toxins out of your body. I told you, I get it. I understand that there's some health benefits in all this, but me, I can I'd rather go run suicides and sweat out that way i feel That's like fair. i gained more that way i'm not gonna sit in a sweat box. do you feel gross putting your sweaty socks back in your uggs no nah, those are those are the beaters man that's, this is to me, that's just me. as gross yeah. but those are that's what they're for that's what they're for like, that's, that's what, what the that, sauna's for no but the sauna's not there for me to be in there with sweaty old dudes bro i'm not, not with it and it's not there for me to sit there and feel sticky Nasty, bro will drive bro. an hour back to Stockton with sweaty socks in his own. Yeah, but that's they're essentially slides. I have a bro, don't talk to me about Uggs, bro. I got I got multiple pairs. Yeah, but the difference between slides and Uggs, those slides have no fur but on the inside I'm, that's but I'm getting saying musty. that specific pair of Uggs for myself is what that is for. I'm not wearing those. I can't you know, imagine out. what those smell like. Cool. It doesn't matter. I wear them to sport course and back. All right. We all know what goes on there. All right, Tom, your next play. He'll do that before he puts his foot in a jacuzzi, apparently. Yeah. Hold on. Are you gonna wait? I never mind. All right. Is that gonna be on the list? Just know just let me know if that's gonna be on the list. No, it's not. (laughs) (laughs) I can't do it. That place has provided me too much happiness over a long period of time for me to put it on the list. My four. Um it's going to the four because this usually this usually this lands on the fourth day of the week, Thursday. You've got some football going on in this day. All right. Give me the turkey served on Thanksgiving. This is a great take. I, great take. I, I like this take. I, I like this will take. Go ahead. Go. Literally go. anything on the Thanksgiving platter. Over the turkey, to give me, give me the ham, give me the mac and cheese, give me the potatoes, g- g- give me quite literally anything. Over the turkey, I think the turkey is so painfully overrated. Like it's dry. Like I, I, I don't know. I, uh, so yeah. I have, I have. Oh, like ahead, Tom, sorry. On this one. No, no, no this Tom. Good, I do have an fantastic. honest question though for you. Do people yep. like turkey outside of deli meat? Uh, I only eat it as deli meat. That's what I'm saying. So, so I think so. This is my was my question. Have you ever had, because I'm the only person, I, I feel the same way as you. So to combat that, and I'm the only person that likes it, so I rarely ever get to have it. But have you ever had honey baked turkey? Um, I have, and it's fine. Mm, okay. It's okay. Fine. That's fair. Yeah. The, I would say the only way to enjoy turkey on Thanksgiving is to drench it in either gravy or cranberry sauce. That is the yeah. See, I, and I hate <laughs> both those things. So, yeah, so I'm not a gravy guy, and I, I don't think I've ever tried cranberry sauce. I'm not gonna lie, Wait, bro. Yeah, I have to. I have to absolutely like, dude. Like, I'm I'm just loading up on ham. I'm just gonna load up on ham and and potatoes and mac and cheese. Like, no, you're that's a good take, Tom. That's a good yeah, take. the turkey on Thanksgiving. Not a fan. Like okay, that. moving like to the five. I've got a bruiser here. A bruiser that I absolutely don't want to see on my birthday. Get the birthday cake out of my face, dude. I don't <laughs> like birthday cakes. Okay. Don't like birthday cakes. You would do all. well at Sienna's birthday party. I, I think birthday cakes, I don't know, man. I'm just some big mess waiting to happen. And 
and I'm I've got a sweet tooth for sure, but like I can't eat. So what's your birthday dessert choice then? Um, you got to be an ice cream cake guy. No, I feel like <sighs> he's a fruit. He's like a um, like a like, a, like a cobbler. No, this is an interesting play. Actually, I would never, I would never really have anything in the evening. I don't know how Stacy started to cook this up. Stacy and and I didn't eat all these, mind you. Okay, that would be insane. I would have serious health issues if I did this. Stacy would cook up a donut cake in the morning when I wake up. Sunday. So Pull up. Land park on Sunday, Tom. I would have I would have like like stacks of donuts into a cake. Then I would just have like a couple of those, and that would be like my birthday cake. And honestly, it turned into a tradition, and I love it. Donuts are the best dessert. Yeah, like I, I, just, I, just, I can't. The frosting is too much for me. Like I can't. I just can't eat that. I don't like it. And I, I yeah. I'm not I don't like birthday that. cake. I, I don't like it at all. I think that'll resonate. I think a lot of people aren't birthday cake. I, I personally, I, I'm not, I'm not a hater. It's not my favorite thing, but I'm not mad at birthday yeah, cake. I'll, I think I'll a eat lot it, of people, yeah, yeah I, I think that's a good take. Um, the the not ice cream cake play is a little interesting because I feel like that's right up your alley. Maybe like a little huckleberry. I feel like it is, I, too, but... but I don't like the idea. So here's the problem with ice cream cake, is that at a party, what do you do? Like you, you set the cake the freezer out until you no, the out but that's not what happens though. <laughs> is that you set it out? And then everybody cuts it. You cut it, and it takes you know a while to cut it and put it on the plates, and then give everybody a fork. Oh, do you want a big? Oh no, I just want a little piece. <laughs> yeah. Like so, by that time, by the time me, like you know, being you know around the younger age of the group of the family, it's like by the time I get my piece, my piece is all soggy, and and like yeah. this cake, the spongy cake is all soggy, yeah. and now I'm yeah. just like eating watery ice cream, and that's not yeah. my vibe. It's not a bad. It's I'm with bad Tom, thing. man. Donut now, cake. How do, how, how do we feel about the cupcake? Does that change? Oh, I or? love cupcakes. Cupcakes. cupcakes are cool. The you know what the say, big cakes are different for some reason. It's because they're individualized. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm like yeah, on like it's, I don't cake. look at this gigantic like round like just mound of sugar. I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, I'm gonna eat this little cupcake. Oh, that was good. I'm gonna have another. One. Yeah, this is a good take. This is a good take. Yeah, but yeah, no, I, I, we just got to shout out Stacy real quick again because yeah. like I don't know how she cooked that up. It was just one birthday. She had the donuts lined up. It was stacked, and then she had she had the uh, what do you call the little the donut holes mm. on the bottom? Like it, oh, so it, it's different kind of donuts. No, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, well, bag. it was mainly glazed. I'm a glazed guy, but like okay, but it was it was a high level idea, and I was like, yeah, mom, like if this is what we're gonna, yeah, I was like, just do this every year. Like what's really popular now in our family is the nothing bunk cakes buntinis. I've heard those are amazing. Are like they're really good. Oh man, they're so good. Like they're just they're moist and they're not soggy. And you get the buntinis, you can pick the different flavors. And like, yeah, those go crazy. We get those for every party now. Interesting. Yeah, take. Buntinis. Um, while we're on it, let's just go ahead and give a shout out to to Sienna. Happy birthday. Uh, yeah. Maybe one day she'll listen oh. to this. Happy birthday, CC. Daddy Happy loves you, even though you tried to destroy the pod last time you were on. No, she was in there. She was contributing. I love yeah, it. Yeah, um, she's been was, on the pod dude. twice. She was yeah, babbling around. Twice. That was awesome. Yeah, no, she yeah. Had some, she probably has some good takes on this one. She, she did, yeah. Oh, yeah. She would tell you what her favorite desserts are for sure yeah. and then tell you what she doesn't like. She definitely has no problem telling you what she doesn't like. We like that. So shout yeah. out. Happy birthday, Sienna. Happy yeah, birthday, happy birthday CC. That's big time. Okay, uh, my five. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to tell a story for my five where the – I've always kind of felt this way about this place, and I know a lot of people feel this way about this place, but mine, deep, deeply rooted hatred. Again, I lose a sponsorship. I'm sure this one was never going to come our way. So one day about a year and a half ago, um, maybe a little less, um, I was headed down I-5 from Stockton to Sacramento uh, to pick up my, my main man, Jared Waters. We were going golfing one, one off day. Um, and I was like, man, didn't get some breakfast on the way out. You know, I'll grab a little breakfast sandwich from somewhere. Um, as I get closer to Jared's house, you know, near Jared's house, there's a, there's a chain restaurant that carries, you know, breakfast sandwiches, uh, coffees, you know, whatever it is. Um, and I go in there and I ask, do you guys carry any smoothies? Now I grew up with this place around, um, they sold smoothies. Okay. I got the most disrespectful response. I, I was looked in my eye. Like I was an idiot for asking this question. No. My bad. 
Um, so then and there, they lost a customer. Um, they've never been serving up good products to begin with. I think it's just the uh, w- why this place is popular is because of how easy it is. They've definitely gone away from their morals. Uh, talk about a place that's stuck in their ways. You got Starbucks at the five. I think Starbucks. Yeah, that's a like, great pig. That's Starbucks. That pig. It's it's. I don't drink coffee. I'm sure the coffee's dog water. I'm sure it's, it's not terrible. Good it's terrible coffee. Um, is it really? Oh my god! Yeah, no, I don't drink coffee. The fr- this so so when I asked for a smoothie, which you guys can tell me if I'm wrong, I they, no, they, they had smoothies. Yeah, I don't know. Smoothies. I'm not a Starbucks. So I go in and ask. I said, "Do you guys have any smoothies?" Right? Because you know how like these places like Starbucks and Dutch Bros, like their menu is not actually their menu. Like they got like billions of things, right? So I was like, yeah. maybe it's just not up there. No. Just yeah. give me a cup of water then. I'm not paying for anything. Give me a cup of water. And I'm leaving because I feel thoroughly disrespected for asking a very like rational question. Um, lost a customer. Haven't been to a Starbucks since. Uh, I've a, at that moment. <laughs> I've hopped on the iced coffee wave lately, and and Starbucks. Starbucks gets the job done for me. Get yeah. Starbucks out of here, man! Uh, and they're, and they're, yeah, they're, they're grazing on college campuses too, and it's just BS. Oh man. yeah, they're to bro. What airports? Oh my gosh, the oh, line man. at the Sacramento airport one makes if no I drink, sense. If I There's drink coffee, real, oh, yeah, I'll go to. There's a real like Einstein's. coffee spot. Like literally ten steps away. Yeah, give me a real a coffee spot over Starbucks any day for sure. I was gonna say yeah. every like local coffee spot is so much better. Like it's ten times better. Too. You're gonna find. I can rock with that. I can. Why rock would out. I go? And you want to talk about someone that's gone away from their morals? Starbucks started in Seattle, right? As one of those coffee shops. Where, where are we now? We're the McDonald's somewhere that that is stuck in our ways. That's not great. Tommy. You want me to tell you something crazy that's gonna blow your mind? Yeah, let's go. So the recipe for Starbucks coffee, the guy mm. who started Starbucks stole that from Pete's coffee. Really? And the only thing he did different is he used reverse osmosis water. Okay. <laughs> this guy. That's all he did different. on this episode. Yeah. Resident right. historian, that's, man. Yeah. But that's my five because it's yeah. massive. It's, it's a yeah. large chain. So we got yeah. it to five. Yeah. Oh, speaking of large chains, ooh, I have a bone to pick. Ooh, Don't boy. do it again, man. <laughs> Oh boy! All right, let's just say it already and keep it pushing. We know what this <laughs> there's is. no way you put it on here. <laughs> no, no, I didn't put him on there. You didn't? Two Luke, you, in a row. Luke, <laughs> no, Luke, you you enjoyed this place. Tommy, you might enjoy this place too. Luke, I you were at this place here. earlier today, and you know what? I'm just sick and tired of the facade that this gigantic monstrosity of a store acts like they're all about good deals and their customers. But you know what? Costco doesn't save you any money. It just makes you spend more money. For a store that has everything in bulk, the only thing that's of any benefit there is the one thing they sell individually, and that's their hot dogs. Give me Costco at the five because that place sucks. They're serving up cheap golf equipment, man. I'm with them. I'm not going to lie. That place sucks. I think it's a bad take. Um, Jared. I see where That's you're coming fine. from, though, because I'm never going to go there. And Jared, bit, Jared. But they do their job well. Tommy. Costco Costco is a good establishment. There's nothing good about it. Costco is a good establishment. They take care of their they take care of their employees. Do they? They do the right things. They do. Okay. They do. Costco, you... Costco is a good establishment, man. I no. can't, can't Costco go Costco is that. not. And the food you pay, court you is pay a membership. Food. To go spend more money. Yeah, but it's like $50 That doesn't a make month. any sense. Yeah, but then you're spending right, more a month. money. It's like $50 a year, my bad. Yeah, but you're it's, not, it's, you know, I, you're not I'll saving give Jared money. this. You never leave Costco without like a massive bill. On which top I did that, this morning, though. Back I walked the out there with the one thing I needed. On Golf top course. of that, on top of that, to sell everything in bulk and then have no possible way of transporting those things <laughs> from your cart to the car is the dumbest thing. thing. It's not a bad I'll take. walk up, be like, I have like, man, will buy 75, 80 things. They'll be like, oh, yeah, you need some boxes? Guy will set a box the size of my <laughs> laptop on, on, the, on the thing and try to stack the 700 freaking pieces of fruit that we just bought. How do you feel about Sam's Club? Place sucks too. That's like a, <laughs> that's like a Walmart version of Costco. <laughs> Dude. Costco has so many good things to offer. I just can't. No, the only good thing about Costco is that the gas is cheap. But you know what? Because it's cheap, the line takes you 45 minutes to get gas. 
people are literally out there fighting tooth and nail for food gas court's spots. high level. All I know is just I, I just I, said I, the only thing they I, offer is the only thing they sell individually. I call it America's greatest dog. deal for a reason, man. AGD, dollar fifty. Yeah, but that's the only thing they sell individually. What other thing do they sell individually? You go in there try to buy a PS five. They try to sell you two PS fives at once. Hey man, we sell. <laughs> You're crazy. All right, let's get to these walk-ons because this is an interesting about it. Clearly, you're passionate yeah, no, about it, and I don't love Costco, so I'm not going to ride for it like I did sort of some of these other awful picks. But yeah, I'd like to hear your walk-on though. The walk-on is going to be an interesting angle. So this walk-on is more serious, and I'm not going to get on a I'm not going to get on a pedestal on this one because it would just take a really long time. I think it speaks for itself. So my walk-on is um, it's something that we all use. It's something that's kind of a necessity. Um, I fought it for a really long time. Um, I still hate it with a passion, but I understand its benefits. But so it's that's why it's my walk on because it's like you want to root for them, but at the same time you just want to like drop kick them, and that's just social media. Social media. Yeah. As much as we use it and it's beneficial and it helps us all that stuff, and me myself, including this pod. Um, it it has its benefits, but I agree. God, man, I agree that one. I think about how much time people waste a day just yeah. looking at nonsense, including yeah. myself. I'm I'm a victim of it as well. Yeah. So it's gotten, it know, it's, it's it's like unavoidable, but like so that's why it's my walk on because you want like it helps you and it helps the business grow, but yeah, like at the same it. time it's like ah it sucks. We should have a segment about this one at some point. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. so that's so my walk on. Just social media. It's gotten so bad. That one. It's gotten so bad, and I know Luke hates yeah. this. It's so bad to the point where when people get off social media, they have to announce on social media that they're taking a break from social media. It's, it's, it's like <laughs> fishing for attention. Um. All right, so my walk on. I took a similar angle that Jared did in the sense that I think – I understand where this thing is beneficial. I think there's a clear niche for this. Um, and I think the idea of it is a really good thing and can positively contribute to society. But the reason why I think it's overrated is because I think it's an enabler. I think it's an easy cop out to be lazy. And I think it's it's something that promotes bad behavior. I got all food delivery services. Give me Postmates, uh, Uber Eats. I love DoorDash, that. Uh, because I think the things that you are postmating or Uber, whatever it is, things that you're getting delivered are typically bad food. All right. So one, it gives you a cop out to not only be lazy, but it gives you a cop out to hide behind your shadow of eating bad food. Because if you want to go and get some crap, it's so much easier to sit there on your phone, like sending a text message rather than calling someone or talking to someone in person. It's so much easier to sit there behind your phone and click, yeah, order, 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 order. They don't have to see, instead of me going to McDonald's and picking out six number fives in, in a large McFlurry. You get what I'm Bro, saying? The, so that's fees one. Are, the fees are outrageous. Number two, crazy the fees. fees are crazy. The fees are crazy. I'm glad you brought that up because that was my next point. The fees are nuts. You're cracking someone over the head for literally being lazy, but yet everyone does it over and over again. Three, I do think there's a benefit to it. If someone is handicapped, if someone is sick, if someone can't go somewhere for a reason, if someone needs groceries, to live, I think, or, or uh, medicine or, you know, there's there's a lot of obvious, very applicable ways that these things can be used. But it is so far from that. It's literally like Wally at this point, like we're what it could be positive for. Yeah. What it could be positive for is no longer what it's being used for. So I got food delivery services as my walk-on pick for things that are overrated. And again, like Jared said, I'm a victim. I get lazy and I order off a of DoorDash. I've done it plenty of times and I get it, but I hate it at the same time. I like the passion. I like the passion there, Luke. Oh man, it's ugh, man. You have no yeah. idea. The thing is, um, you you have no idea. I didn't go. I didn't go for a serious of an angle as you guys did. I went for something that. You know, I guess I could I guess I could take loose angle here. I'm a victim of this, you know. This thing takes my money year after year. And I need to stop because the Madden franchise is just producing the same game every single year. And I don't know Such why I I don't know why I keep buying it. I love Madden. Because I'm literally just like I'm literally just buying a new game for updated rosters because nothing in the gameplay is changing. I mean, this game is so freaking overrated. It's, it's I'm I'm playing Madden 24, and it's really just Madden 18. No, it's the same, bro. No, I'll say Madden 20 and all has been the same, literally. And the, like, and the funny thing about that's Madden why I stopped is, playing Madden a long time ago. I love Madden. It's, it's I don't play video games. 
like I really don't. I'll hop on like Call of Duty with with the homies or like Fortnite with the homies or whatever. Madden's really the only game that I like. I'm gonna grind my ultimate team and like become good at the game. game. It's always exactly right. It's the same thing over and over again. Same game every single year. And and credit to EA, man. I mean, I buy it, but I shouldn't. And I need to stop because no, Madden. Really I don't know if I'm playing Madden 21 or Madden 24 right now. I'm not gonna lie. So you know, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back onto the Masters. Um, you know, I've been grinding my guys on the Corn Ferry Tour. Um, That's a great. Wait, do you have the do you have the golf the two K golf PGA two K or do you have I the have actual... PGA two K as well. I didn't buy that one though. I saw, like I I have like an EA pass or something. I got that for free, but I have the Masters game. That's the one I've Which been is, playing. That's the newer one, right? Yeah, it's that one has all the has all the courses that the P, that one actually is is yeah. I like that one better. The um the swing path is a little more realistic and like you can use the spin of the ball more. Yeah, no, the Masters game fun is, is the Masters game is a lot of fun because yeah. I like I like using I like going on all the cool courses. That's why it's that's yeah. a lot of fun. And then yeah, using no, my guys, awesome, using yeah. my guys, cool too. I'm like slowly getting better too, so it's a lot of fun. Man, what a starting five! That was... What a wow, segue I like too. That. I mean, we're talking about no, what a segue here. to to our man Waters. What a segue to our man Waters. But yeah. I just want to tip the cap to you guys. Great starting five. Way to way to way to come prepared. Yeah, That's a good new one, guys. I like. We that. have been talking about overrated. Uh, Luke, you golf today? I did. How'd it go? I shot a uh, I shot a very frustrating eighty one, which is Again? The, which the fact that we're in that position means that you know I'm something's going right. This is the way I explained it. <clears throat> I think this is the best way to explain it. I'm not playing good golf when I'm in opportunities to score, but I'm playing very very good golf when I have to fix something that I messed up. Sounds so, like, like golf. Again, got you. I was, so I was scrambling. Your scramble is is on top. I was. I I don't think I had any double bogeys on the card. I love it. Bo- bogeys and pars. I just when I hit a good drive, didn't put the second shot where I needed to be. If I if I hit a bad drive, I put it on the green. Good two putt par. You know what I mean. So like, how'd just, you how'd you, how'd your cart mate fare? She was in there. She was in there. Yeah, feeding, let's go. Good positive vibes. Didn't okay. definitely did not play the whole round. Um, Rumor was <laughs> she she sunk one fifteen feet out. She she hit a fifteen footer on hole one. That was probably the highlight. That's amazing. Of her. Uh, but yeah, no, she was she was in there. Uh, you know, supplying really positive energy, and that's all we need out of a cart mate, honestly. So yeah, shout out. But yeah, man, I just yeah. I just didn't I didn't close the door on opportunities I should have. <sighs> but at the same time, I saved I feel myself like, from a lot of bad holes. I feel like you can though. I feel like you're right there on the cusp. Around t- hey, if I right, put a full right round together, it's yeah. going to be sick, actually. Scary. Yeah, hopefully hopefully I won't be on the other. Shout out to Will. He was putting together a full round, but he missed the first five holes. But oh. he played some phenomenal golf after that. I feel like he did that last time we played there. <laughs> Bro, it was, it was it was really impressive. Um, But to me, you know, par is overrated. So with 50 chips a night, I'm chasing birdies only so that my handicap will have a chance to fight. That's really nice. That was, I like that, that one, Jerry. Sweet. To the yeah. point. Short and really sweet. Good. That was good. That was one of my favorite. That's uh, a right solid there. one. Yeah. Um there was something else that I wanted to say before we got off, but uh I can't remember. So that's okay, Jared. Maybe yeah. it'll come to you next time. Yeah. Well, lots to look forward to. Lots to when we to. uh when we're recording episode sixty, it might be there. So yeah, sixty. Whew, man. Crazy. Episode five nine in the books. Thank you all. The yeah. Content's going to keep coming. Uh, walk on pod to the moon. You know, that's what I've been saying lately. These are your favorite walk ons. We're walking out. <laughs>